With PCR testing overwhelmed in many states, National Cabinet decided yesterday rapid antigen tests would be sufficient to confirm positive cases. That will take pressure off PCR testing lines. But there's no system for collecting positive results from at-home testing kits. If we're going to get a handle on this wave and understand where it's growing and have a proper response and keep our healthcare system safe, we need a system that records rapid tests. The Prime Minister says it's not an immediate issue given the shortage of rapid tests. They'll be predominantly still be doing PCR tests and that will ensure that those test results are going back into the system. But even when more rapid tests arrive, Scott Morrison isn't too worried about undercounting. Case numbers are less the issue. It's connecting to care that is the issue. The states and territories are looking at how to best collect the data and there are markedly different approaches. In Victoria, it will be mandatory from tomorrow to report a positive rapid test result to the state health department. But in Queensland... If you are perfectly well and you've got a positive result, don't don't race to get on the phones and flood our, you know, our uh, 134 COVID number. And in the ACT, they're sticking with the original system for now. We're still asking people to please get that rapid antigen test confirmed with a PCR if you can. And the New South Wales government hasn't said anything about it. The government still needs to be aware where those cases are popping up so that resources can be deployed. Knowing the true rate of infection means the hospitalisation and death rates can be accurately calculated and the spread of the virus tracked. If we all go the Victorian route and make the rapid antigen test results mandatory reporting, then we'll have a much, much better idea of what's happening out there. But the Prime Minister says health authorities are already accounting for missing data. Case numbers will be underestimated in Australia because we know that people are self-managing in many instances. The Prime Minister said he didn't want to impose a national system on the states and territories, but another way to describe it would be that National Cabinet couldn't agree on one. With different experiences of COVID across the country, Premiers and Chief Ministers are each going their own way. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.